Hi guys, I'm uh, I'm uh, here uh, heading to another appointment. So I got uh, Matthew with me, and uh, I'm on a Uber drive right now. So this will be a quick pause. It's just for five minutes, uh, uh, five to seven minutes as usual. So I'm just gonna answer some of your questions, uh, questions that you have thrown in. So it's just another day with uh, us, Daniel. So one of the questions that has been uh, uh, that has been thrown to me is that the difference between a crypto trader as well as a steam social miner. So you know you know nowadays you see there's a lot of crypto traders uh, everywhere. You know everybody's pushing for various kind of platform, uh, and these guys are those these guys are those guys that are actually put in money, uh, their own cash out in the market, and uh, and. Um, and hoping to get it uh, a better deal in time as uh, as the price goes up uh, or as the price goes down, you know, it's really up to the market, you know, uh, and that's how trading works. But the, and uh, and but the difference with uh, being in steam, uh, you you some people have, some people call it as a social mining. So automatically, also you you are a social miner. So all you have to do is just. Uh, um, do whatever you do, like in Facebook, and uh, and eventually uh, you get the outboards, you get the steam, you got the uh, community that is with you, backing you up, and every post that you write, every post that you put up, produce, it's another way to uh, have an income. So, and that is the difference. So, if you're the kind of person who's willing to uh, gamble your own money and to be on the trading platform, it's one choice. Uh, but you have another option. Might, might as well you use your creative cost, put in content, make some money out of it, and then, uh, then by then, if you want to get into trading, then you can use that uh, available fund. Uh, some call it free money, but I don't think so because you put some work into it in your writing uh, uh, and your, your creative money, right? And, uh, and put it out there in trading. So it's really your choice. It's really what you want to do. Uh, but one thing for sure is that, uh, in a way, while leaving it at steam power, uh, you are also trading because uh, uh, steam coin itself is being traded on daily basis. Okay, hi guys. Uh, on another note, just another question that uh, that uh, is pretty interesting. Uh, I think you are aware right now that steam price has went down. Uh, it's not that dramatic. Uh, so the question that came out is that um, steam and steam dollar value have dropped recently. How does this affect you? Uh, so as you know, when uh, steam dollar came up, we have uh, did a lot of conversions to steam. Um, and one of the things that was discussed as well in the past, after Korean mark, after some of, I mean, some people have said the Korean have put in some amount of uh, funds uh, or, or trade into a Steam Dollar, and Steam Dollar went up to uh, quite a, a significant uh, rate. I think it was up to 15 or 16. So, so what happened is is that. Uh, a lot of people have transferred the fund, have transferred it uh, and put it into Steam. Uh, so right now, as the price goes down, it doesn't really affect anything. You know, doesn't really affect much. It's because um, we are anticipating that Steam is going to come up, uh, and if there's a fog happen, hopefully this month or maybe early next month, uh, Steam price will increase maybe four times. Uh, the, I mean, this is what we're expecting. Uh, but uh, interestingly. Uh, if since it's now match as in price is, isn't there isn't much of a different. Uh, what you can do is that uh, just uh, change into Steam because we're expecting that the price of Steam will increase. All right, have a good day. Cheers.